Hello, and welcome to Book 3, Chapter 13 of You Should Be Reading. Today, today we're going to be talking about this wonderful little book, Black Cat Crossing by Kay Finch, the first in a new series. Now, I saw this, I was just poking around my mystery section in my local bookstore, and I saw this and I'm like, first in a new series, a bad luck cat mystery. Kind of interesting. Then I read the back, and it's kind. It it has a nice little uh, tone to it. So then I bought it home, read it, and I'm like, hey, I'll give it a shot. Why not? And I was delighted to find out that this is not only a very, very capable little mystery. I wouldn't say it's on the level of, you know, other mysteries that are like super great. Oh my God, it was amazing. I'm not saying that. But this is a wonderful little book because. It brings to mind, uh, at least in my personal uh, opinion, it brings in to mind the um, that old television show Murder She Wrote, with Angela Lansbury, who uh, plays Jessica Fletcher, this uh, mystery novelist, who ends up, of course, murders start happening wherever she happens to be, and she helps the police in the area, whether it's out and about or in her little town of Cabot Cove, Maine. Um, that's kind of the feel I get from this. Uh, it's only the first in a new series, so things haven't quite been cemented as to how they go. But in this book, we have a uh, Sabrina, uh, a young lady who moves to Lavender, Texas to write her first novel. She is a budding mystery novel writer. Um, and she ends up running into hearing these rumors about a local cat, this black cat that is bad luck. Um, one of the one of the residents actually calls it El Gato Diablo, the devil cat. <laughs> uh, and th there's quite a bit of superstition around. And she's not the superstitious type. She doesn't believe it, cats can cause bad luck. However, this particular cat, the wonderful little black cat, ends up leading her to a body. Um, of the relative of her aunt who she's staying with and helping out with her cottages because her aunt has broken her leg. Uh, they end up meeting the particular uh, cousin, I believe it is, who her aunt ends up knocking him down and bashing him in the head with a crutch that she's in, that she has. And uh, because of this, the, uh, the local police uh, seem to, or at least the deputy, seems to have a hard-on for her aunt trying to pin the crime on her. So she's all in a tizzy, little Miss Sabrina, and she gets it in her head, I'm going to find out who actually did this. And the story goes from there. Uh, I won't get into a lot of details beyond that. That's, that's in the first couple of chapters that this happens. So it, it kind of sets the premise. And she ends up meeting and befriending uh, the cat, uh, who she calls Hitchcock. Because, you know, she's a mystery writer. She likes Alfred Hitchcock. So she calls it Hitchcock. And it's very interesting. Because they do have that feeling. That small town feeling. Mystery writer. Solving mysteries. Very much in a murder she wrote kind of way. I could see this series developing very much along that. Especially if uh, our young mystery writer Sabrina stays in Lavender, Texas. And murders start happening in the small town. And she helps the local police solve it. Because... That happened a lot in the television show. I used to watch Murder Row back in the day. So it's it's a wonderful little book. Uh, not only that, not only is it a wonderful little mystery, it's fairly easy to read, fairly quick. It only took me a few days uh, to get through it. And the characters are interesting enough <laughs> that it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's forced. This as somebody who grew up in a small town um, and where everybody knew everybody. Uh, this particular field, the way this book is written where everybody knows everybody, um, there's a lot of rumor and gossip going around. It, it's very fitting because this is literally, she, she does a very good job of portraying how a small town is. And you have the, the wonderful, the old sheriff who, who's kind of amiable and, and gruff and you've got, you know, the her best friend, who runs a bookstore with a couple of cats in it. Uh, what else does Scissors say? 
there's not really a lot to say about the book. Um, not without getting into a lot of detail of characters and whatnot and spoiling it. Um, oh, uh, one thing I should mention, that there isn't really, there isn't really a love interest in it. There's a couple of guys that she's kind of like, you know, yeah, this guy is cute and attractive and all, but she is much too focused on her novel, getting that first novel written and whatnot. Um, so she doesn't really, it never really develops into any type of a, of a love interest for her, which I like. I like the fact that they're not having to do that hang up with a love interest. I mean, don't get me wrong, that can be good in the right place, in the right story. In this particular story, it, it would have felt a little too tacked on, but they didn't go that route, which, uh, kudos to you, Miss Finch, for that. Uh, what else? Oh, yes, one more thing before I, I mention. She also, our wonderful young uh, Sabrina, um, she ends up, <laughs> she has a, a, a thing where if she can't sleep, she'll go and bake in the middle of the night. And she bakes a couple things. And, of course, Miss Finch has very helpfully added the recipes in the back of the book for pecan tarts, Texas toffee cake, and easy peach cobbler. Uh, so you're not only getting a nice little mystery, but you're getting a few recipes that you can try out at home. So, hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yes, uh, that's about it for this video. Uh, as always, if you like what I'm doing, please give that like button a tap. Uh, don't forget to give that subscribe button a tap if you haven't already, so you can be kept apprised of when I post new videos. And throw some comments in the comment section if you want. Talk to me about mystery novels. What kind of novels do you read? Have you read this one? What other novels, mystery novels, and mystery writers out there should I be looking at? Please, I like to get a discussion going. So please do that uh, and remember for this week you should be reading Black Cat Crossing by Kay Finch and I will see you all next time